the vacation.psd file is still open, so let's examine what makes up this image. If you go down to the bottom right of your screen and locate the layers palette, that's this one here, you'll actually realize that this picture is made up of one, two, three, four, five, six different layers. So this photo is actually made up of six different layers that are overlapping each other. And if you locate the azaleas layer, you'll notice that there's a little button that looks like an eye. That's called the indicates layer visibility button. If I click this button, watch what happens. That azalea, that flower that used to be here, has now vanished. Okay. If I want that layer representing the flower to reappear, I just have to click the indicates layer visibility button again. And when that little eye symbol reappears, so does the flower. Okay. So anytime I want different layers to appear or disappear, I just have to click the indicates layer visibility button and that activates or deactivates that layer. Now why do people use these indicate layer visibility options? Well, when you're working on a project, you may have too many objects on your work area and you don't necessarily want to see everything at once so if something is in your way or there's just too much clutter it's often a good idea to get rid of some of the things that aren't necessary so you can focus your attention on one or two objects